and welcome to today's lesson, Mixed Numbers and Improper Fraction Conversions with Models. Today we're going to be looking at picture examples and also the way that we're going to be converting these just using numbers. We'll start with an improper fraction and convert it to a mixed number. So whenever I have an improper fraction, I always want to think what is the least number of containers that I could repackage this into. As you could see, we can imagine that we have five personal pan pizzas. One piece from each pizza has been taken and eaten. We want to rebox these in the least number of packages because we're going to be putting them in the refrigerator. So if I look here, I see I have three and I have five sets of those three. So if I was to count all these up, I actually have 15 pieces of pizza. And when I repackage it, I know that each piece of pizza is the same size. It's a fourth of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out my frames of fourths and each frame is going to represent a box. Then I'm going to move the pieces of pizza, which I'm going to highlight in red into each of those boxes. So as I start to move them over, I notice that and this one, if I was to take this one piece and add it to this whole section, it would make one full box. So I'm going to keep moving these over until I have used all of the pieces. And as I'm moving these over, I notice that at the end, I don't have any pieces to go in this box, so it can just go away. Now I'm going to look at how many total boxes are full. One, two, three. So I have three whole and I have three pieces of a fourth box. So what this means is that I have 15 fourths, 15 pieces that are cut into fourths, and that is going to um, convert into three whole and three fourths. So let's look at this in terms of numbers. Here's my 15 fourths, and that's what this picture represents. In order to change an improper fraction to a mixed number, you're simply going to divide. Now we remember for a long division that we're going to put our numerator on the inside of the division house and our denominator on the outside. And I'm basically asking myself, how many full boxes could I make with 15 pieces? So 15, uh, four goes into 15 three times. So three times four is 12. So I'm going to subtract 12 and I end up with a remainder of three. Unlike dividing for decimals, I'm going to stop at my remainder because remember, this means that I was able to make three full boxes, but I had three pieces left over. So my quotient in my division problem is going to represent my whole number. My remainder in my division problem is going to represent the numerator because that was what was left over. And then of course, I know that my uh, divisor here, my four, that is never going to change. That is how big each piece is. Each piece was cut into a fourth. So notice that this stays the same if you're going from improper to mixed numbers. Let's look at a picture of that again. So how this is how the picture and the numbers are going to connect and this is how we're converting from improper to mixed numbers, improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now let's go the other direction. Here we have a mixed number and we want to convert it to an improper fraction. We can look here and we see that we have three wholes and two thirds. Basically, when you're converting to improper fraction, you want to ask yourself, how many pieces are there? So I'm going to go ahead and count through my pieces. Something that's important to remember is that this has been cut into thirds. Each of these have been cut into thirds. And this is what the three in the denominator represents. So I can just rewrite that part. Now I'm ready to count. So as I go through, I have three in the first section. And then I have six, nine, and then those two leftovers, which make 11. So let's look at how to do this using just numbers with no pictures. For converting a mixed number to an improper fraction, I am going to multiply the whole number in the denominator, and that's essentially saying, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, that's essentially saying I have 3 full containers with 3 pieces each, which is 9 pieces. Then I'm going to add the product that I just got with a numerator. 
So I had nine pieces in my three full containers with two leftovers. So that gave me a total of 11. And then of course you always rewrite it over the denominator because we always keep the denominator, which is 11 thirds. Let's recap. To go from an improper fraction to a mixed number, you're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. You'll stop dividing at the remainder. Then you'll write the quotient as a whole number and the remainder over the denominator that you started with. For mixed number to improper fraction, you'll multiply the denominator and the whole number. Then you'll add the numerator to that product, creating a new numerator. And you'll write the new numerator over the original denominator. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.